It's late summer and peak spider season. This is a fascinating encounter I recorded with what I since found out was a cat-faced spider, a large orb weaver that is usually found in small webs around houses with porch lights and not often seen in the wild as they're so well hidden. I'm hanging out with this spider, which I just about put my hand on. He's in the arm of a wicker chair. Big fellow. Note that every time I refer to this spider as a male in this encounter, it is in fact a female, which are much bigger than the males. Matches the chair, and he probably, I don't know if he's uh, changed his color, if he just sought out this chair. You can see there he is, he's moved, and when I first saw him, he was lined up perfectly with the arm of the chair. Fairly substantial little guy. And uh, it's like his legs even match the color of the wicker chair, sort of a charcoal and off-white. The cat face name comes from the two symmetrical bumps on their abdomens that look like cat's ears and markings that can be taken for the rest of the face. But I think the focus is on the cat's ears as these spiders have right. a great variability in coloration and markings. This one very much oh, has gray-brown tabby-like fur markings. It's one hairy, fuzzy hair. spider. I have named this one the Brown Wicker Porch Furniture's Cat Face Spider, as it loves to hang out in the daytime and wait for prey on the porch furniture that provides perfect camouflage. This cat face spider, though, is rather atypical, as she is clearly not in her web, which I think is a rather small, unimpressive affair between the deck floor and wall, and she lives between the deck floorboards. She is clearly not exclusively nocturnal, nor slow-moving, as some have stated. In fact, she's an impressive jumper, as you'll see. That is a wild looking spider. And he does have uh, some silk thread emanating from him. That's the kind of spider that is a real predator. He goes around on the hunt looking for something to eat. This is spider season. It's on late August. Hard to go anywhere without bumping into a spider. She is on an ambush hunt while remaining tethered to the chair by a line of silk she lets out and is actually quite mobile as I found out by poking her with a stick. She didn't run, she attacked with a vicious bite. Oh. Just a minute. There's a spider with no sense of humor. That is a rough dude. I poked him with a wood barbecue stick. You could feel it through the stick. He struck hard. I've heard of people holding these spiders, but this one is clearly not into cuddling. They are, of course, beneficial, and their bite is not particularly dangerous to humans. Probably like a bee sting at most. He's going to hide there. That big spider has just gone over here. And if he, of course, if I didn't know he was moving, 
the irritating thing is going over here and assume the position that again matches up perfectly with the pattern of the chair. I relocated this big mama to be to the florist edge, however, as I don't really sitting or resting my arms on her on the porch. She will develop a hundred eggs or so and get even bigger during October and then die, and the eggs will hatch in the spring. <laughs>